All right, so today's topic is gonna be the graphene ceramic headlight restoration kit, the pro version from Adams Polishes. So in here, I kind of already, I've already did this headlight, I'll show you in a second here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it on this one so you guys can actually see it on camera. Uh, but this, this kit comes with um, the sanding disc holder here, which I'm gonna prep right now. And they give you a three, uh, 2000 and 3000 grit uh, sandpaper in here. So it's just a quick little uh, two-step. That's the difference between the Pro Kit and the non-Pro Kit. So the non-Pro Kit just includes the oxidation wipes and the um, and the protection in here. And so again, you get the the 3000, 2000, 3000 grid. They're written on the back here. Uh, again, that's for when the, the, the sanding step. I'm gonna pull all the other stuff that I need out of the bag here before I get to that okay uh, they give you in gloves two sets of gloves I'm gonna put those gloves back in here and then here's the um, the oxidation wipe number one and they and they're uh, dedicated for driver side um, passenger side so that you don't accidentally uh, run out and it's two wipes per side so here's uh, the second one okay so you're gonna just go ahead and put that in there and step three is the graphene protection wipe in here. Uh, and again, let me just get rid of this bag here because I want to uh, get you guys the proper directions here. Pretty straightforward kit. Uh, very user friendly. You can do this at, at home. I'm doing it outside. And if you're going to do this outside, make sure it's a dry day where you're not going to have dew or anything because the, the graphene protection is going to need some time to set up before it can get wet, wet with moisture. So if you, you know, today's Santa Ana conditions, it's, it's not going to be um, a dewy. So again, here's the uh, instructions here. So I'll let you read this here. Okay, so it tells you to separate the wipes from passengers, driver's side, and then again, the, the sandy disc with the little block. Okay, here's step one. So step one is you're going to use the, uh, you could first put your gloves on and then you're going to use oxidation wipe number one. And you're going to um, work this headlight here. Again, I'll, I'll show you how that works. And then you're going to use oxidation uh, wipe number two. Again, do that. Then you're going to go to the sanding step after you wipe that off. Uh, again, you're going to do the 2000 grit and then the 3000 grit, wipe that off. And then you're going to follow up with the uh, graphene protection here. And it's over here, wiping the coating off the headlight will ru ruin the optical clarity provided and the headlight will go back to appearing fogged and hazy. So again, you don't want to touch the, the coating after you've applied it because you're going to mess mess it up. So it's just wipe on and then it'll, it'll self-level by itself. Um, it says it's uh, the kit Pro Kit is designed to restore moderate to severely oxidized headlights that are in need of surface leveling, defect removal, color, and clarity correction. This kit is not capable of restoring headlight appearance if the damage is severe enough. That the headlights are cracked or if damage is observed to be on the inside of and they mess if they didn't finish it off but uh, in short uh, this is gonna uh, only restore a certain amount of uh, damage to the headlight so if the damage is inside the headlight you're not gonna be able to get that off uh, so let me go ahead and take it to the the driver so I'm gonna take the GoPro off I just did this headlight here this one wasn't as bad as the one on the driver's side, I mean on the passenger side. And you can see the optical clarity was restored, it looks pretty good. Uh, I even had a little extra and I just worked this, this one here as well uh, to kind of restore that. And I'll, and I'll show you the passenger side right now. And so this is what I'm working with on the passenger side. And so uh, we're going to uh, remove all this oxidation here with the step number one. And you can even uh, feel it and hear it. I think this this light is going to be it's going to be damaged to the to the point where it, it, it needs to be replaced. But my mom's not going to keep this car much longer. Uh, so again, I'm working outside, so it's it's a bit noisy. So let me talk a little bit louder. So I'm going to put the camera back. Okay. So now we got the um, first thing is you want to put the gloves on because this gets kind of messy uh, with the oxidation wipes in here. The gloves that they give you are not the are not that great, but I mean, you're gonna just use this kit one time and then 
uh, toss it. Uh, it's, it seems like it's a good money making kit if you're gonna just do uh, restoration from headlights. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just wipe this headlight down to remove any dirt. I mean, you can hear it, it's just grinding against the, the headlight. So that's, this headlight probably needs to be replaced. Uh, we'll see if sanding kind of fixes that. So again, um, you're gonna have your oxidation wipe, so wipe number one and wipe number two. And you're gonna be just be using them to the point where uh, you no longer have any uh, clean sides on this. I'm going to fold this in half one more time and all you're going to do is just use this to scrub the headlight and so this is chemically removing all that oxidation layer on there again it depends if your headlight is how damaged it is it's only going to do so much so like right here in the center this light's pretty messed up so it technically needs to be replaced yeah I think this headlights seen better days so just keep going you're gonna get all this uh, build up on your oxidation mover and you can see it's ripping it up because it's pretty rough right there Now, if you get it on the paint like this, it's perfectly fine. It's not going to remove anything. Uh, just wipe it up. And so we're just going to keep flipping it and then we're going to go one more pass on this particular light. And don't worry if you don't get it all off, they give you two wipes. And because I have a little bit left over, I'm going to flip this over to a clean side. I got it a little bit ripped up because that thing was rough. I'm going to go ahead and use the oxidation remover on this little uh, signal light here. done with the wipe number one go ahead and put this back in here I'm gonna put this in here I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my hands off here wipe this off the paint again I'm not too worried about getting it on the paint because it's not gonna damage it and so when you start wiping it you're gonna pick up the um, the oxidation Go ahead and wipe this little guy here. Now I believe these are the original lights on this car. So this is a 96 Buick Regal. Okay, so now we're gonna go to wipe number two. And again, it's the same uh, chemical that's in the first wipe. This is just to ensure that you get everything off. Uh, you can see it's not, for me, it's not turning as yellow because the first one did uh, most of the work. So let the chemical do the work. Probably not going to need this to work this in as much as the other one. Flip this over. Okay, 
So I'm just going to use this to wipe up this, this one down here. Now if you wanted to, you can tape things off, but I'm not going to tape this off. Uh, just be careful, especially when you're using the sanding, of what you're doing. Okay, so wipe number two is done. And again, you shouldn't have as much oxidation after using the first wipe. Let me just go ahead and wipe my hands. Okay, just wipe this off. this off yeah I'm not too worried about damaging this one because there's this car has clear coat failure and like I said my mom's it's, it's due for a new a new vehicle she's gonna buy one uh, this car will no longer pass smog okay so now next thing we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and start sanding this. I'm going to prep the sand, sanding disc. This is just water in here. And you're just going to go side to side. So I'm focusing on the center here, where it's got the most damage to the light. I'm not using too much pressure, just back and forth. going to see what areas need to be hit again. So we'll go over it one more time. And it's become a lot smoother. Again, if you're uncomfortable, just go ahead and tape off your car, you know, the areas around your headlight. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about this one because it's not going to be kept very long. And right here, this whole area here in the center is beyond repair. This piece here. Still feels rough to the touch right there. I 
and right here. So yeah, this so this headlight needs to be replaced. I actually probably needed like an 800 or 1000 grit paper to get to that. Okay, so I'm going to take this off the uh, this piece here. And fold this. I'm just going to go lightly on this part here. And just being careful I'm using almost zero pressure so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this one in the trash I like I just went make a lot of noise all day okay so now we're gonna put the 3000 grit paper and get that wet again and you're just gonna go ahead and just come back work this headlight and this is gonna refine the scratches that you just put in for the 2000 grit even more down see what it looks like so we'll go over it one more time and then that's pretty much it That's it for the for that step. We'll just go ahead and do this little side marker. Let's get this side. All right, so we're pretty much done with all the sanding. Mop up any any excess. You don't want any water left over. On the um, headlight assembly, because if there's water in there, the graphene wipe is not going to work very well. I'm just going to dry this off. Okay, so now we're going to do the graphene wipe here and then we'll see this make the transformation right before our eyes okay so here you go now what this is doing it's filling in any of the scratches left over from the sanding step
go over make sure you got even uh, coverage okay that's pretty much it you let that set up and I'm gonna go ahead and do this little guy down here that set up and that's it you've officially finished uh, restoring your headlight like I said it's gonna self level and um, I mean it looks pretty good for what it is this side was pretty m was worse than the other side Let me just make sure I'm touching everything one one last time I want to get the center as much as I can. Yeah. And it smells just like there's their graphene coating that they have in the bottle. Uh, so I don't know if it's the same product. I wouldn't be surprised if it is not. Or it is. And that's pretty much it. I mean, so that's the graphene ceramic uh, coating a kit, a professional headlight restoration kit from the uh, the Adams lineup here and oh yeah I mean just kind of standing back uh, these headlights have been restored pretty well give you enough optical clarity uh, to at least see at night and that's the important thing here uh, this headlight is in better condition than that headlight uh, but um, you know it came out pretty good and so I'll bring you in closer before I bring in closer, I want to show you something. I had an extra pair of gloves just in case I needed them. Okay, so um, for those of you that are wondering, yes, uh, like I said, BME Blending makes the the products for for Adams, and uh, you know I can post this if you guys are interested. But if you want to get it straight from Jade, which is the same kit. Uh, they can show you all the directions here, you know, how, to, how they look before and after, uh, the kit, you know, what, what's involved in the kit, all the stuff in, in there, and it tells you step-by-step -step, uh, directions with uh, movable images on here. Clean the headlight, use a two oxidation remover wipes, wet sand with 2000, wet sand with 3000, clean and dry the headlight, then you apply the graphene coating to your void moisture for, uh, they say 48 hours. Uh, I don't think it really said anything on the bag. I'm kind of just looking here. Uh, it doesn't really say. But again, here, you can sort in as little as 30 minutes. So it just depends on how much work you want to uh, put into your lights. I'm going to go ahead and kind of bring you closer this is the end result of this headlight considering how damaged it was you can still see all the um, crazing and stuff in there this headlight needs to be replaced uh, this little piece here was restored better and then again here's the other side which is also uh, in good condition and it's been curing for quite some time and we've restored the appearance of it so again that's the um, Adams Graphene Ceramic Headlight Restoration Kit. This is the pro version. Uh, if you guys are interested in trying this out, I'll post a link down below and uh, you, know, you guys can, can check it out. It's a pretty quick money maker uh, for, for those of you guys who want to invest in this. You can you know save this and buy your own sandpaper and just buy the non-pro version which includes just the wipes and the graphene coating. Again, this is just a, a quick little kit for someone looking to restore headlights. So, uh, any comments or questions go ahead and post them down below but this is again this is the um, Adams uh, graphene pro headlight restoration kit which um, I mean you can clearly see that it worked pretty darn well in restoring both uh, at least this headlight I did this one off off camera uh, but again they both look good and we've restored optical clarity to where now the driver can see at night which is my mom all right so again thanks for watching and uh, yeah we'll catch you on the next one